We're gonna try to build a bell feeder out of this garbage. First thing we're doing, cutting these center pieces out with a little Chinese plasma cutter. Then we'll try to salvage these pieces here for the uprights. Okay, here's what we ended up with. We cut all the center pieces of the spool out, chopped them down so they were equal lengths, divvied it up, start welding them on. We'll come back when it's time to put the top right. right. Got the uprights done. Need to set it down on the ground, grab the upper ring, mark it out 16 and a quarter center. And after that, after we weld that top on, we got to build some legs and we're done. I had to get some uh, help to let me move that around. I'm too big a sissy to lift this crap. So we need to make it 48 inches because that's what all the other ones we have are. So it's upside down right now. I'm going to weld four legs on here out of the remaining pieces of that box tubing that we got out of the center of the spool. And we'll be back to weld that up. If anybody's looking for a good, cheap welding table, when you see on Craigslist that somebody has an old table saw with a blown motor that they want to get rid of, just grab it. They usually have wheels on them, the old heavy duty ones, because somebody eventually did it. The table saws, nice cast heavy top, nice heavy top, and they're super flat. Clamp the ground on the side and get to welding. We found some leftover paint, figured we better use up the nine quarter cans of paint that we had laying around. And that is all we ended up with scrap. We see if it works. That one's a little rickety. Yeah. 
day. It's gonna work. Yeah. He takes his cow for a walk. What? Gotta get the meat warm before you taste test it. <laughs> you panicked a little. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how Richard Richard's attitude is yet. Where are you trying to look for?